Hi friends and welcome back to my RuneScape 3 I Am and Progress series. Now today I'm just going to explain what's going on because I lost a bit of the footage where I was explaining in real time what I was doing and so I just wanted to recap everyone with what's going on. Last video we managed to get ourselves 600 Reaper points which means I can now buy the last two Hydrixes I need to make the Essence of Finality amulet. However I don't have 50 fortunate components to make one of the Hydrixes into an alchemical Hydrix. So what I'm going to have to do is get some clue scrolls done and I decided since I've not done too many master clues rolls I would crack on with those. Only issue is I've needed quite a few things and what you're gonna see in a minute is a musician's robe top that I needed which you can only get from thieving the guys in Elf City, the elves in Elf City and it's very rare and I came to learn that it is actually pretty damn rare. So yeah that's kind of it. Um, the main focus of this video, aside from getting my Reapers done and doing a few Araxi trips, is going for these Master Clues and getting the items required. Oh, and if I repeat myself a lot in this video just because of the broken up clips, please just, you know, be bear with that. Like, it's coming up in about five seconds and it's... I wish there was something I could do, but there's not, so just, yeah, thanks. I want those bows, so... I'm gonna get them eventually. I'm gonna have to just go back to where I came them. Anyway, I'm here at Aquanites and it might seem like a very big jump from what I was doing. However, um, what I am doing now is kind of just waiting for tomorrow for my last Reaper task and for Araxi's uh, Enrage to reset so that I can get my Essence of Finality. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the fortunate components to make an alchemical um, Hydric yet, so I'm going to have to get 40 of those. I haven't got anything to destroy in my bank for those, so I'm going to be doing some clue scrolls. Now I've got some masters to do, and for one of them I need an amulet of ranging. Now if I go to my beast tab up here, I have gone, I think it's like a thousand or so. Yeah, 1,100 kills dry aquanites. So I'm just going to sit here AFK. I'm glad now that the amulet of ranging is up to like 200k, so it's a bit more AFK. My loot beam's going to pick it up. But I'm going to sit here for a while. I'm not leaving until I get it, unless, you know, it's... I, I say that and I'm just digging myself out. I'm just going to crack on. Look at that. Two minutes in and we've got it. I'm particularly happy about that because it's taken me a thousand kills to get it, but I'm going to go crack on. So it turns out I also need a Dagenhai hat, and the only way to get that is by killing Dagenhai monks, unless I could have got it from the quest ages ago, but I'm pretty certain I got, just got rid of it because I'm an idiot. But I'm going to have to now farm out a lot of Dagenhai monks to get the hat. It's a very rare drop, but they've only got like 2k health, so I'm hoping this will go smooth, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so I was like, expecting that Dag and I had to take a lot longer to get than it did, but, you know, probably about three hours worth, and I've managed to get it. Um, I've seen a lot of people go 10 plus without it, and I managed to get the road bottom as well, so uh, I can crack on with some clues now. So I wasn't going to record any of the clue stuff, but I'm just going to show this real quick. So for one of my clues, I need a Scabarus mask, and you get that after the diamond in the rough quest. I believe you go through the eastern wall here, the tunnel. Um, and there's something to mine at the end of this corridor and once you go through you'll get the mask. I also need the Asylum Surgeon Ring but I've already got that thankfully because if I had to do that quest again I'd not be very happy so um, I thought I'd just show this for the sake of it's something I've never seen and maybe someone needs some help with it so yeah um, you get that mask by going all the way through here if I've got this wrong I'm going to be furious yeah here we go you mine this crack and then there should be an entrance or something Again, I've never done this. I'm just going by, like, reading up on, on this stuff. So hopefully I'm right. Yeah, 20k XP climb into the fissure. Um, and again, you've got to complete the diamond in the rough quest, but that's hardly a big requirement. And it's there, the Skipper's Mask. I'm just going to take the mask. I'm going to leave that Waz thing, so I don't think it's very good. But anyway, back on with Master Clues. Okay, I didn't show this um, because I was AFK in a lot yesterday, just because I had a lot of assignment work to do. But I actually needed a musician's robe top from thieving these guys all around here. And um, I thought I had one, but it turns out I had the worker stuff, which was a bit of a pain. And the only way to get it is as a rare drop from thieving um, elves around Elf City. And it was a nightmare. I got in total, you'll see on screen from uh, Rune Clan, just from tracking my stats, I got 999,490 XP before I got this top, which got me to level 100 uh, thieving, which was pretty cool, but it was just such a grind. However, there is good to come from it. I did get 23 signs of the porters. I got a few other different things that I can merge together, like the super pots, which 
might not be much, but like they're gonna help save me a bit of um, resources later down the line. But anyway, I've got that now. You can carry on with my clues. I'm just really hoping I don't get the infinity boots clue. I wanted to show you this. So I've got a lot of bank spaces used up and I'm running out of space. And this tab is gonna make most people probably wanna cry. Dave, I'm sure his, uh, turning around screaming because it's just absolutely mental now i when i first started doing archaeology i came across someone who said that you've got to keep all of these artifacts even though like the lower level ones keep them keep them um and i never really knew why i just thought you know i'm gonna trust the guy and of course he was um kind of wrong there's really no need to be keeping all of these once the mysteries involved with them have been completed and the challenges such as like using a spike dog collar on um hellhound and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do real quick is just get rid of all of this just to free up some of that bank space because at the moment i feel like the last month i've just been cycling through things just clearing up little bits as we go but kind of over that now so today's been spent doing some archaeology just getting some of these artifacts that i can use for the um the collection the five piece collection that gets you the tetra compass pieces anyway uh, also i got some gothic arrows because i caught something and it gave me a chest like an easy clue score reward chest um oh it was one of the penguins that was it uh, anyway i'm just gonna get to it so i've managed to get pretty much 10 of each um of the artifacts which will get me 10 tetra compass pieces i've got three pieces already the goal is probably to go for 20 or 30 of them in total just afk the reason that i'm showing this now is because i managed to get myself two complete tomes and i'm only 37k from level 94 which means i'll be moving on to the next place so i'm just going to use these quick get myself the level and then i'm going to be cracking on with some clue scrolls for a bit just as something a bit more chill i know i still need to do a raxi i've just not had the time to sit down for an hour and do the reaper that'll be coming on tomorrow and there we go uh 94 there we oh wow i'm pretty certain um these are the artifacts you need for one of the other um collections that gives you a tetra compass piece so that's actually kind of cool that i've got those anyway not going to be focused on those just yet i'm going to go do some clues and stack up some chests now i know i said originally i was going to go for 20 of each artifact for the tetra compass pieces however i decided against it just because i realized the xp i was going to get was pretty fantastic anyway so i managed to get 10 of each of these now which is pretty cool and um yeah i'm just gonna start repairing those it's taken a bit of time but it's it's not that bad there's, there's the um little drop-off stations to put all of your materials in really close by so i didn't have to use up any sign of the porter charges in my grace of the elves so that was quite nice and at the moment i've got four of each tetra compass piece so overall i'm going to after this have i can't even remember i'll get 10 tetra compass pieces in total which will put me up to about six and a half tetra compasses in total which is pretty solid but anyway i'm gonna crack on and restore all of these and actually, you know what, I'll just wait because this is about to get me up to 95. Actually, no, it's one more will get me to 95. I'm hoping to get 96 this video. I'm not sure if it will happen. Um, just because I've got a lot of AFK to do anyway, so I may as well just do some archaeology. But there we go. 95 archaeology hit, and I'm going to finish off doing these. And this here is my last submission for the Red Room relics the artifact sorry and i just didn't have a beast keeper helmet left to get myself an extra piece but i was expecting that anyway but you know we'll take an extra few tetra compasses which is really cool and yeah at the moment i don't plan on using these tetra compasses i'm going to be saving them for when i get to the higher level so that when i get the tones i get more experience for them because so at the moment at this level it's not taking too much to get levels it's not too tedious and i'm enjoying it so at the moment they're just being saved for when it's you know getting a little bit too grindy and I've just finished doing some more um, archaeology and I'm going to just throw all of this on here because I managed to get two of these tomes just in the last inventory. So that is 96 and there, that's, um, it's actually gone quite quickly. We've got a new place to go to so for now I'm going to go to this new place, get this stuff all done, all of the collections and then back to the old one.
So I got a dagger off King's Task for my Reaper Task and decided to just go and kill Rex for the Berserker Ring because I really needed it for the clue scroll that I was doing and yeah, I decided to set up an instance, just go with minimal gear just to kill Rex and about three kills in I managed to get one which was really cool. I spent the rest of, rest of the task doing all three of them but unfortunately got no further drops which kind of sucked but I was happy with that one ring. So while editing this video, I've noticed that I'm showing a lot of clips of me getting clue scroll items, but not showing me actually doing them. Now, every single clue scroll I've done has required a different item that takes a while to get. And in this instance, now it was an ancient staff. Now you can get one for free, or I think you got to pay for it from some guy by the bandit camp lodestone however you can only do this once which apparently i've done and then since destroyed the staff the only other way is to kill mummies and it took me about four hours of afking them to get this staff here which was not too bad but it was pretty damn tedious but i was glad to get that done the only other item that we could possibly need now is infinity boots and i swear down if on the next clue scroll i do i get the infinity boots clue i'm just gonna cry i'll just i'll probably just buy a skipping ticket to be honest but yeah anyway as well as that i got 95 divination which was just from a cash which felt kind of good as well so that's the end of this video. Just to recap, because I know that the format of it and everything was all over the place because I managed to lose loads of clips. I don't know how I did that, actually. I'm going to have to look into it. But what we managed to do is going to be on screen now. I'm just going to recap in voice as well. So we managed to get from 94 to 96 archaeology. We got a load of clue items. I've actually done uh, four of the master clues now. But for each one, as I said earlier, I needed a different piece, which was really, really annoying. So, yeah, we managed to get the Amulet of Ranging, an Ancient Staff, the Dagon High Hat, um, the Musician Robe piece, and there was something else as well, I think, I can't quite remember. The Berserker Ring, that's the one. Managed to get myself 95 Divination, 110 ranged, and another 10 Araxi kills. I wanted to do a few more, but of course, a lot of this week has been spent at the new bosses just doing those making the guide for them and then my spare time's been doing university work so i've been a little bit swamped for time on this video to get more raxi kills done however i will be doing more of them i also did some things off screen as well like a couple of reapers that didn't really give me anything um but yeah that's kind of it for this video i'm just getting some warforged bronze because i've got 700k archaeology xp banked and i'm gonna be getting 97 in about an hour or so so yeah anyway thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe to see more stuff hit the notification bell if you want that to pop up i mean i don't think we need more notifications in life but you know if some some people love it so so go for it i don't know why i'm going for this i'm trying to get the warforged bronze i'm an idiot anyway i'm gonna go <laughs> take care bye, -bye.